Hey folks, it's Andy Barrar, Handy Andy from HandyAndyMedia.com and today I'm going to be doing a review of a dedicated GPS for your vehicle. We're looking at the Garmin Drive 53. Now, in an age of smartphones and maps, do we really need a dedicated GPS system? Well, with distracted driving being as much of an issue as it is, I think maybe so. So in this review, we're going to go and take a look at the Garmin Drive and see if this is something you should consider getting for your vehicle so you can keep your phone inside your pocket. So without further ado, let's get into it, folks. Sit back, relax, get your popcorn ready, and kill the intro. And so here it is installed in my vehicle. And what you'll notice is that in terms of the installation, I put it on the windshield, but it sits flat right on the dashboard on the front. And, and the reason why I did this is that I thought that it would not obstruct the view, but still it would be very easy to look at the map just uh, with the glance of my eye and then back onto the road. And I still had that ability to have some touch controls with my other hand. So here's the main kind of screen over here. You can have your go home and you can have saved. You can view a full on map like you see right over here. But just like your smartphone, what you're able to do is two ways. You can press the buttons to zoom in and out like that, but you can also pinch to zoom with your fingers if you want. So there's really two ways to interact with it. And just because a lot of people are used to smartphone uh, map functions, I think the Garmin Drive 53 had to do the kind of same experience uh, on their device as well. So there are different types of modes. This one traffic, I think it's supposed to give you real time traffic information, but it says the cable is not the correct cable. I'm not sure how that's gonna work being a GPS, how it would get that information. This is your history, your trip histories, which I think will become very valuable uh, in case you need to go back to the same area. Instead of having to write it in the address book, you're gonna be able to just um, go back to your history. Other than that, you get your real time here. You see I'm pinching and zooming between the different types of map views. Again, you can press the button to go out to kind of a macro view and then back in to a micro. I wanted to see just how far you could get outside and actually you can go right up to like earth. But for most people, I think they're gonna wanna kind of see a general macro view of the area that they're going into and then be able to really zoom in exactly to know where you want. And this really just helps you navigate and understand the area that you live in, uh, what north, east, west, and south, the different types of roads, that main roads that you take and where it ends you up on the map. But I really like this 3D view. And, and I think that's a cool thing that they allow is that you can look at it in 3D or you can look top down. So with the pinch and zoom and all that functions, I think most people are going to be able to interact with it quite easily. Here you can see I'm trying to see just how far back you can get and you can actually see the globe and from my understanding it has Canada, United States, uh, Mexico, I think Puerto Rico as well map features. So you're not going to find anything in Europe but for pretty much North America you're going to be okay in terms of finding your location with this without using your phone and so you're going to save money on your data plan if you do it that way as well. So the big question is, who is this for? And you know, I was thinking about this and I'm like, if you spend a lot of time on the road, if you go to the kind of same uh, places over and over again, and you like the map features and you don't want to use your phone anymore, I think this is something worth checking out because finding and searching new places a little bit hard, you can do it, but I wouldn't do it on the road. I would set everything up before you head off onto the road. But once you got everything kind of set up, it does give you great turn by turn directions. There's the audible kind of cues to tell you when to turn. So it's that same feeling that you have on your smartphone, except it's on a dedicated GPS device that stays in your vehicle. One thing that I would suggest is do a look at your vehicle and where you're going to run the wire before you purchase this, because that's the one thing that kind of bugged me was this. I couldn't figure out a good path for the wiring. But otherwise, you know, it, it is a really good thing to have a standalone GPS system in your vehicle. Keep your phone in your pocket and you'll still have that turn by turn directions. It, it takes a little bit more effort than with your phone. It's too bad it didn't interact with your phone where you can almost cast the map onto the um, Garmin Drive 53. I think if they did something like that, that would be a game changer for map features because then you can keep your phone in your pocket, less distractions, but you can navigate and search everything 
on your phone. I think that would be the perfect scenario. But in the meantime, if you do spend a lot of time on the road, check this out. It's the Garmin Drive 53 GPS Navigator. Uh, it will have to mount onto your windshield, but if you got the space in the real estate and you don't obstruct your view, it's something I highly recommend you check out. Well, I hope you enjoyed this review of the Garmin Drive. Like you'll notice in the video, I did not drive and film myself driving and trying to review it at the same time. That, my friends, is distracted driving, in which is the whole reason why you would want to get a unit like this so you can keep your phone inside your pocket. And so I hope you don't mind the fact that I did the review from a driveway when I was, wasn't driving because I didn't really want to promote distracted driving in a video to combat distracted driving. So I hope you get it. Anyways, if you like this review, please smash that like button, subscribe to this channel, and leave your comments below. I'm interested if anybody is considering getting a dedicated GPS for their vehicle and maybe just leaving their phone in their pocket. I'd love to hear from you. Once again, folks, my name is Andy Barrar. Handy Andy, handyandymedia.com. See you again next time.